Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Pixar Fest at the Disneyland Resort will be officially kicking off next week and we couldn't be more excited. So in today's video, we decided to check out some more recent updates that have landed for Pixar Fest at Downtown Disney as well as inside Disney California Adventure Park. Not only will we be taking a look at all of the new updates, but we are also going to be taking some of our final looks at the 2024 Food and Wine Festival foods. We'll be on the hunt for any new merchandise that has arrived to the parks as well as seeing what other park updates we can find. It's all in this video and more, so stay tuned. But before we get started with today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. So let's get started. So if you guys are doing the actual walk from the parking structure to the Disneyland Resort, it looks like some Pixar Fest banners have actually made their way up here by the structure so keep a lookout for those it is currently 11 30 and it's about 66 degrees which feels amazing i believe next week is also going to be in like the low 60s from like the weather app but i don't know things change as you guys know with the weather um, but it's going to be a good time we're super excited for pixar fest but now we're going to make our way inside downtown disney and find some more updates for you Another thing that's hard for me as a Disneyland goer is not being able to actually cross through the parking lot, but I totally understand, you know, it's for safety reasons, but having to cross all the way over here to go all the way over there. Yeah, so just my two cents, but hey, food and wine festival. Another thing we noticed is here by the monorail, it looks like there is still a little bit of that construction. We are wondering if this may become an entrance to the actual parks, but we're not too sure. So there is a little bit of construction here also leading into downtown Disney. Just made our way inside of downtown Disney. It looks like there is a little bit of construction right under the sign as you walk in. So I'm not too sure what they're doing. Maybe getting it prepped a little bit for Earl a sandwich, but I guess we'll see. And speaking of Earl a sandwich, it looks like the actual building that was off to the left-hand side has become a Earl a sandwich pop-up. So I'm curious to see how long this will actually last here at Downtown Disney, but this place is amazing. And moving a little bit more inside, it looks like they're doing some construction right off to Earl of Sandwich, close by the actual Star Trader. So it's gonna be interesting to see what they actually do here, if they're just like extending for more patio space or if it's for something else, but I guess only time will tell. And another fun thing that has popped up here in downtown Disney, where you usually have the fun backdrops, it looks like we have a 2024 Pixar Fest backdrop. So we love how they do this every season for something different, and this one looks fantastic. And right across from Pixar Fest, we have Din Tai Fung. And apparently this will be opening this year, but it's really neat to see how it's actually coming along. They've made some wonderful progress on this. And instead of us going to Costa Mesa now, we can actually come here to downtown Disney and enjoy this restaurant. And I know someone's excited for it. I don't know who. <laughs> so I actually turned Henry on to Din Tai Fung and like dumplings. I, a lot of people think it's overhyped. I just think it's really good cuisine food. It's an experience. You just can't go wrong with it. So if you've never had it, make sure you check it out. Excuse us for the actual noise of the saws going on, but right across from the actual theater area, looks like they're gonna be creating something called the Parkside Market. And again, guys, I do apologize for the noise in the background. I was trying to wait for them to finish, and of course they just finished right now. Uh, but it looks like there's gonna be something called Parkside Market, and it's gonna be a whole collection of diverse culinary concepts. So this is pretty much how this thing's gonna look. It's actually pretty exciting. I feel like this is gonna be a great addition to downtown Disney, giving more options for different things. So we'll see how this turns out when the time comes. And Nicole is most excited for the coffee shop that's gonna be opening called Sip and Sonder. I believe that's how you say it, but. I'm excited. I saw lattes and Caribbean inspired bites. I'm here for it. <laughs> And something that's actually really neat here in downtown Disney for Pixar Fest, it looks like these medallions have been popping up, which looks really cool. It's putting the entire downtown Disney district into a fun zone, getting you ready for Pixar Fest here at the Disneyland Resort. It's officially farewell for Tortilla Joe's, one of our first favorite loves here at the Disneyland Resort, but it looks like something else will be coming soon. 
and we are actually very curious to know what that something is but i guess with time we'll be figuring it out also here in downtown disney it looks like centrico is on its way to opening it almost looks like there's like a soft opening because we've been seeing people kind of wait in line but i doubt it i think they're just kind of figuring out all their operations and it's going to be interesting to see actually how this place is going to look but it's nice to be able to finally walk on this opposite side but it's looking really really nice so nicole did mention a couple weeks ago like if there would actually be something inside of the esplanade for pixar fest and it looks like we're going to have the actual pixar ball which is going to be so cool to see i'm super curious to see how they're going to finish this thing out but it's definitely something we needed for pixar fest now it's time to go inside and like we pointed out in last week's video all the pixar fest banners are up and this is how i'm feeling about being in dca today As we're here in Buena Vista Street, it's time to check out Five and Dime and see what new merchandise has arrived. And to match that hat I really want, it looks like there is now a t-shirt. So it might be a two-in-one buy for me. Maybe I just never noticed this, but one of the banners that are actually down there by Pixar Pier, you can actually purchase them as a puzzle. So this looks really cool, but it's a light-up billboard mini puzzle. So that's kind of cool. So how much is this thing? $19.99? That's actually not too bad. And I still think these scream canisters are probably one of the coolest things Disneyland has made. Dang, but they are $35. I don't really recall they were ever that much, but I could be wrong. I have not seen this before. It is a wooden pull toy, but apparently it also makes some noise in motion. Kind of cool. Now here's a shirt I would absolutely want. This is $34.99. I feel like I've seen it in the past, but it looks like there's a restock, but I think there's only size small in stock. But man, this looks cool. And something that has recently released for the season of the force here at Disneyland. Looks like this pretty cool Tatooine spirit jersey. This will run you $79.99. And there is also a matching ear that goes with it as well so i love the attention to detail this is actually a pretty cool ear i love how the colors kind of change up from dark to light but these are neat and if this shirt wasn't 39.99 i'd probably consider getting it but it's actually really cool this is actually a nice little graphic i feel like it does kind of match the style that they went for this year but on the back i don't think there is anything yeah just plain but Pretty cool design. So we just got done looking inside Five and Dime. Nothing too crazy has recently released. I feel like a lot of the stuff is already out. Of course, as we move closer to uh, May 4th, we have stuff and closer to Pixar Fest, we have stuff. And speaking of Pixar Fest, we've got something to show you. So as you can see right behind me, there's some really cool artwork for Pixar Fest. It's definitely fun to come and find your favorite character and take a picture. It's just something that's free, like a free little memory to do. So just keep in mind that tucked away by Guardians, there's this little cove and make sure you find your favorite character. Did just switch my hat. I had it on backwards, now it's on forward. Nicole said I have to show it off. So that's what we got. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like the curve isn't exactly where I want it, but what do you guys think? Box lunch saved the day. Let's see if there's any new updates here inside of Hollywood Studios. And we notice here in Hollywood Studios, there's a thing called Club Pixaro. So we notice here in Hollywood Studios, there's something called Club Pixar. So it looks like this is gonna be the area where the actual live entertainment's gonna be at. So keep that in mind if you guys are coming during Pixar Fest. It turns out that my stepsister and her family are actually here at the parks. So we're kind of hanging out with them. They're currently getting on Guardians of the Galaxy, which they are better than me. <laughs> that ride is scary in my opinion. But I think we're gonna have lunch afterwards and Raylani is currently waiting for all the kids to get off so she could hang out with them once again. So Pixar Fest will be kicking off on April 26th through August 4th, which is gonna be quite the spread of time for this event. There are gonna be some awesome popcorn buckets that we'll be releasing that we definitely have to get our hands on. Some really cute sippers. Um, there's gonna be a lot of food throughout the whole resort. 
I believe at some point during the festival, there will be festival booths that will be turned over for Pixar Fest. So we're so excited to just fully immerse in this whole experience. This will be our first Pixar Fest, so we're so excited. And you definitely know that we're gonna be rocking some awesome merch um, and just have a good time and help you guys and come up with some type of tips and tricks um, so that your experience will be just as enjoyable. So it looks like we're gonna get some food today at Lucky Fortune Cookery. So we just got done eating at Lucky Fortune Cookery. We had the karage sandwich, which you really can't go wrong with that. Now we're gonna cruise around the park, try some Food and Wine Festival foods, also the new Bing Bong Churro, and much more, so let's go. It looks like the Incredicoaster is back up and functional. However, we don't see anyone actually still on the ride. It looks like they're just testing it at the moment. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting on it right away. I'll probably wait a little bit before I hop on, but that is a good update to see. As we're actually walking, it looks like there are tons of people kind of crowded around. So I think the ride might be open or opening here today. So we'll see. So there is something very special that we want to try and it's over at Senior Buzz Churros. We're going to try to keep it a secret from Raylani, but hopefully it brings her a big smile to her face. So let's go pick it up. So here is the churro that we're going to be picking up. It looks like it's also for Food and Wine Festival. So let's get it. You remember Bing Bong like Jerry? Oh, Bing Bong and Jerry. They're friends. The two churros. <laughs> okay. Okay, Raylani right. is excited for this. The unforgettable churro. Here you go. Take a Oh, you don't want to? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try the unforgettable churro. I'm so excited. First bite. The churro was so tasty. It reminded me of like a toaster strudel. It was delicious. I like that little tartness that comes from that strawberry jam, but it's a five out of five. Like there's nothing more you need to say about it. That churro was phenomenal. Now it's time to head over to some of the booths and get some food, or I should say more food, for Food and Wine Festival 2024. So, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna be trying an item from Cuaca Doodle Moo. Here we have the barbecue beef brisket slider, and we're so excited to dig in, so let's pick it up. That was a really big bite. I feel like it's all in my teeth and it, it is, I feel it. But really great flavor. My only complaint is I wish it had a little bit more of like a sweeter barbecue sauce throughout the entire bite. Um, but I definitely like that crispiness from the chips that were added on. So I'm really excited we got to try this before it goes away. Another item that we picked up from Cuaca Doodle Moo is the Kiwi Apple Cooler. We had this earlier in the festival. It was really good very hot today so we're excited to get this. Henry did ask for an extra cup so that we could maybe split it in half and water it down since it was a bit sweet but cheers. So what I just did right now is actually water down the drink. Pretty much half of it was the actual drink they have at the booth and the other half is water and I think I actually prefer it to be this way. Uh, it's not as sweet, it's not as tart, it's like really in between and it actually tastes really good and I still of course left that purple orchid topping. So yeah, you get two drinks for one. And I did want to kind of clarify that the Incredicoaster is back up and operational. I know last time we were here, it was actually down and this morning there wasn't anyone actually on the ride, but it is nice to see that this thing is finally up, especially for Pixar Fest kicking off later next week. As sad as this is to say, I think that's our very last foods that we're gonna be trying for Food and Wine Festival 2024. Pretty much everything this year was absolutely fantastic and we cannot wait to see what the new booths for Pixar Fest are going to look like. And like Nicole pointed out earlier in the video, that's going to be kicking off May 10th. And pretty much the booths are going to be all themed to different Pixar movies and shows. So stay tuned for that. We will definitely be covering that on our channel. Now it's time to jump on The Little Mermaid. just got off Ariel and it looks like we made our way over to the Redwood Creek Trail and it looks like it's still down. 
So I'm assuming by the actual summertime, this will be back up and running. All right, everyone, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Let us know in the comment section down below if you're gonna be coming to Disney California Adventure Park for Pixar Fest. We would love to hear. But with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.